<laughs> My name's Thomas. I play the drums, acoustic drums. Uh, my name's Becca and I play the violin. She's also really nervous. Uh, oh. I'm Brandon, I play the bass and sometimes the tambourine. Okay. I'm Matt and I play guitar. Me and Becca got together and started like writing uh, guitar violin stuff. More, it was a little bit more folky kind of stuff, but then she had the idea, she's like, oh, well, you know, it would be really cool to put some beats to this and make like a weirder, uh, you know, hybrid genre sound. Hip hop folk. Yeah. <laughs> and hip hop folk was born. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, we met, we, Brett's an old friend of mine, so, and I knew that he's, you know, does beats and all that stuff, so we went over to his house and kind of found this sound that we, you know, never really heard before and we tried to elaborate on that. Yeah. And then we try to get this upright bass player, right? Nick wasn't Lotta. really working out. And then I'm a hotshot bass player, so <laughs> they, I live with that guy right there. I still do. And uh, yeah, they asked me to play, and I was like, of course, you guys, the music is awesome. <laughs> and uh, and it uh, avalanched from there. Mm -hmm. and been adding, adding members ever since. Tom played a show with us before we ever I played, played the first, the first show, show we ever played. This I played without, the first show. Yeah, we needed without me and without that guy. We needed a drummer and we had him come in and play like ten, learn ten songs the day before the show. It actually <laughs> went really well, <laughs> surprisingly well. David Allen, he's produced a lot of great work, and uh, we know him. He uh, he's a sound guy at Hangar Nine, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, his studio. It's, uh, they got a lot of really great equipment there. We're recording direct onto analog, which we basically couldn't do anywhere else. I feel like that kind of setup is probably nowhere else in Carbondale, you know? Yeah. So going out to West Frankfurt, in my eyes, was a necessity. Something they said to me like when we started is they're like, anytime we've seen you guys live, you've got this great energy. And they really wanted to capture it and uh, help us out a lot and kind of produce our EP, which is nice because all too often when you go to like record somewhere they'll be like uh all right first take that was great like do your next song and it's like wait no we want to do that again and they'd be like no that was bad you guys should definitely do it a different way so it was really helpful to have them there very good at facilitating and making suggestions yeah they're really good at moving in there it's a comfortable environment to record in yeah you're basically in you know the uh, super comfy house with yeah. you know like, good people yeah it was, it was just really nice it's kind of about collaboration with like different people and just like what you can make and that's why it's so exciting to be able to do this because like all of us are obviously like super different people and it's really nice to be able to come together and like create something that that's our own and doesn't exist you know didn't exist before we have a wide uh, variety of diversity and taste <laughs> and that really comes through uh, <laughs> through the collaboration of everyone in the band the contributions are so you know, they're coming from places that I've never heard or never thought of, and like Brett will come with this idea for something that I'm just like, I never would have thought that on my, you know, on my own. So it's nice to like, as a composition, to write it out, but then let everyone kind of be like, well, this is what I'm hearing, this is what I'm hearing, and with that Everybody diversity just bleeds through, and you just, you know, it's unavoidable. It's great. I might write an influence of, of this song. This is like modest mouse to me, or this is. Um, something like, like, you know, like this is why I hear local natives or at Fleet Foxes or whatever. But then the song isn't turned into that, you know what I mean? Like We don't want it to be that. It's more like taking ideas and concepts, little cool things you hear in music and trying to, you know, build a song out of something that really isn't a direct influence. So I don't really <laughs> know how to explain that. Carbondale music scene, they have been super welcoming and it's also like a really like precious thing to have. Um, people that care about it so much and people that are willing to help me. I mean, there's local music everywhere all over the world, but if people locally are going to be our fans who are, you know. Uh, I think the best uh, way to describe the music scene in Carbondale is the community. I don't think there's a better spot in Illinois aside from Chicago for independent music. We want to take it to the next level. We, uh, it's like we kind of see where we're at and it's... Now that you record an EP, or we've done some recording, we're able to sit back and look at it. Now it's okay, now how do we get even better? How do we build this to something bigger? Which is why we also are adding a cellist who will be playing with us on Sunday, um, who's incredible too. So we're able to get in like a string section involved as opposed to just the solo violin. So it's really gonna help us bring out even more in the music. It's gonna be uh, quite an adventure. Quite an adventure, I like that. The Midwest tour as well. Yeah, we will be touring soon. Hopefully. <laughs> so we're waiting for the EP to get done so we can schedule a tour, so hopefully come May we're on the road for a couple weeks at least. Kid Tiger basically, you know, lives off of the uh, 
Hang on. Mission of the Starfleet Enterprise. <laughs> find unknown and explore and find new life forms in the form of uh, music. Oh, you better be-